Hello everyone, welcome to the App Review Wednesday, and today I'm going to do my review on the um, app called Money Control. Uh, this app is basically like debit and credit, if you have seen my uh, other um, app review um, Wednesday um, for iOS. Uh, this is an Android version, and I will tell you that if you guys are familiar with the Amazon App Store, this app is completely free. Uh, and if you're not familiar with it, Amazon App Store offers uh, something called Underground. Uh, it basically allows you to get free paid apps for free. Um, typically, this app is free already, but there is a um, in-app purchase you have to buy to get it, and Amazon automatically gives you that for free. Uh, so, if you're familiar with that, I would suggest getting it on the Amazon App Store instead of the Play Store. Uh, I will leave both links down below where you can pick them up, either or. Uh, but it's like $1.99 for the Play Store to unlock uh, the app completely. Whereas on Amazon, it's completely free in app purchases and everything. Um, so, yeah, let's get started with the um, review. So this is the app right here, Money Control. When you open it up, this is what it looks like, and then Amazon's gonna um, do their little advertise it inside it. Um, that's t pretty typical or normal with some apps. Um, so overall, this is what the app looks like. The overview is uh, basically what your account is, and the total and the most expenses you spent, and what your initially opening balance was the budget. And then on new expense or new income is where you would add like your transaction. Like let's say I spent $20 um, and then your category, uh, they got all these different categories you can pick, let's just say fuel. Um, and then your account would be your bank account. And then the person, if it was specifically um, group, um, if it's for like a summer vacation or sports and all that, and then you can post your photo to receipt and a little note. Um, um, for just quick references. And so let's put it. And then it adds it and then it updates the total right there. Um, and then for new income is the same way you just you know your new income you pick what account um, you can set this where it's automatically defaulted um, inside the settings app um, and you set a description and then you can post like your pay stub or whatever or if it was in receipts you can post it there click the check mark. And there it is. Um, and then, if you go over up here, if you go to entries, it will show you a summary of all the different entries that you picked um, and made. Um, as you can tell, I accidentally put it um, the 400 under just general, whereas this one's actually under your rages. So that's that. Um, Recurring entries would be like bills um, and different things that you it would always be deducted out of your account and it would automatically schedule that and um, different things. Let's just say $20, it never ends, which I do like that feature. Um, like debit and credit did not allow you to pick like when it ends. You just had to keep going in and making sure it's set to correct date or set it to like next year or something. Um, whereas this one's just straightforward, never. Um, and then you can pick every two months, every month, and all that. And in general, let's just say uh, insurance. And then the account, let's just do the account. And then just click OK, and it makes it. And then it will always 
be deducted out of the account. If you go to the accounts, it shows you the total of all the accounts you have. Uh, so if you have cash account, it'll show you cash of account. Um, bank account, of course, would be your bank account. And credit card would be to put your credit card. And then your savings account, if you want to put money into your savings account. And overall, that is all the entries up top here. Um, I think to go back, you go to overall, and then you can stop doing it. Uh, this is a little bit quick way to add things um, at this home stream. I do like that. Um, and then you guys might be wondering what this lightning strike up here. This is a shortcut. You can create shortcuts for like, let's say you go get coffee every day, and you know what price it is going to be every single day. You get the same thing. You can create a shortcut. And then once you get that item or something, you can go into the app and just click that and then click apply. And then it will automatically add that to your entry, which is really nice. Um, so you don't have to keep going in and it's doing the same thing over and over and over again every single day if you get like a cup of coffee or breakfast or something. So that's really, really nice. Um, so if we go up here, then this is where you got your synchronization. You can synchronize this through Dropbox. Um, you can actually have the ability to do the um, encryption key, um, add an encryption key. Uh, so that's nice that they have the option to do Dropbox. Um, I've never been a fan of Dropbox, which it was like Google Drive or something, but it is something. Um, and then if we go to reports, it basically will create reports on varieties of your different things. So let's, if we want to do an account thing, any account, and then click OK, it's going to make the full report and then you can view it. And then this has been kind of flaky right here that it, um, it doesn't automatically pop up something that, um, opens it, it tries to open. And as you can see, this is going to be your account summary. The one thing that I do like about uh, their account reports is it actually shows what the previous balance was um, for whatever you added. Um, that's something in debit and credit that I never liked about the reports. It would never tell you exactly what your other balance was after it was deducted. It just showed a list of all your deducted and income stuff. Um, and then it also shows like all your different categories that you made and different things. So that's pretty nice that the reports are really awesome like that. Um, that it does that. And if you go into settings, this is gonna be all your different settings where you can add your different things. You can set a passcode or when you open the app. Um, it automatically um, pops it up and forces you to type a passcode in. Um, and your currencies, you can switch to diff, you know, a peso or different things, all your different currencies. Um, categories is where you can add like a new category. Um, so for example, you can, if you want like fast food instead of food, you can add that um, and different things. That's where you do that. And then accounts is where you can add another account if you want to. Let's say you have two bank accounts or something or a business account. You can go ahead and add that. And then persons would be um, like more of like the payment goes to like Hardee's or Burger King or Walmart or Staples. Uh, that's basically what persons would be or like a specific person. Um, it would go to. That's what this category really means. I wish they kind of named it a little bit different uh, because this is kind of confusing, um, but I guess that's okay. And then groups, if you want to set like a new group up like for Christmas or something. And that's really about it. And then they do have like export and backups that you can automatic backup. Um, and set and it will print it back up and then you can copy it over to your computer or a NAS or something.
we won't lose all your data. And then if you just want to get rid of it, everything in the app and start over, delete all is an option. And you also export it as a CSV file and export it as a CXV, where you can view it in like Excel and different things. Um, and then up here, you can set your default um, categories, uh, which is nice. And then budget settings, um, just a little bit different options to do um, some in-app options where it knows how to manage your money. Um, but yeah, overall, this has been money control. Uh, if I still used Android as a daily uh, driver, I would really consider about using this um, app. Um, I've been using it just around here just for just where I can get this video set up and it actually I actually started to like the app a lot. Um, so yeah, hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And remember this app is on Amazon Underground, so you can get this app completely free and all its in-app purchases. And if you don't know how to use the Amazon App Store on your Android device, I may make a video about that on how to make um, how to install it and different things. Um, but this app is also available on Google Play, and I'll leave both links down below where you can get it. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. See you in the next one.